Today, let's learn how to attach multiple effects and masks to a character in UEFN. I'll also show you how to trigger fireworks using a trigger device. First, in the UEFN Unreal Editor, search for VFX Power Up. You'll find this device. Move it upward, then create a new Niagara Particle System. Select Hanging, Create It, and Open It. Here, we'll adjust colors and other settings. Let's start by setting the particle range using Shape Location. Set the shape to Sphere and the radius to around 200. We'll reduce the lifetime a bit. Increase the size. and change the color to red. Now, in the VFX Power Up, switch to Custom Effect and assign the Niagara system you just made. If you check Effect Duration, the effect will loop endlessly once the player picks up the VFX Power Up. For now, let's uncheck it and launch the game. In game mode, when you pick it up, it appears once, and the effect fades away. In edit mode, go near the power-up and press the interaction key. Now you can customize it. Change infinite effect duration to yes. Then play again, and now the effect will stay on continuously when picked up. Using this method, you can attach masks to the face, or apply multiple effects. You can also choose where to attach them, head, hands, feet, and so on. This way, you can create effects like this. Next, let's make sparks trigger when stepped on. Search for trigger and bring that device into the map. There's also a VFX spawner device. Place it right above the trigger. With the VFX spawner selected in the details panel, set continuous to burst, so it plays only once. Check custom visual effect override and add the spark effect. Now, let's make it so that when the player steps on the trigger, the VFX spawner activates. Go to the VFX spawner settings and under restart, select trigger. Then set it to on trigger. Let's launch it. Now, every time you step on or interact with the trigger, the sparks will appear. I've created a lot of these effects for the character. These are effects you can attach in UEFN. When you use them in game, they appear like this. Let me show you from the beginning how I attached them. Click Migrate on the entire pack folder. We'll exclude the map since we won't be using them. Then press OK. Select the content folder of your Fortnite project and click Select Folder. After migration, open your Fortnite project. You'll see everything imported. Let's launch it right away. Just like we used the VFX Power Up device, I've set everything up in the map. When you press Launch, you'll see a message that says Make Private. Go ahead and select that. Now, when you start the game, I'll show you how each one looks. Hearts appear above the head. There are particle effects, llama masks, and you can change mask images freely. I'll show you how to replace the mask image right after this full view. There are also bubble effects, musical notes, and even handheld fireworks. See how it's held in the hand? I'll explain how to make that too.
Hearts also appear like this. And yes, even a funny pee effect. I've also made food effects. Sushi, pizza, lollipops, donuts, fried eggs, cookies, and chili. There's also a wing effect. And for pixel style icons, bears, croissants, butterflies, game consoles, keys, and more. Now, let's look at how to change a mask image. This works the same for any effect that uses an image. Open the Llama Niagara system and go to the file containing the renderer module with the material. Create a material instance and rename it. Open the instance and you can change the texture here. Choose an image with a transparent background. For example, the pizza one. Then assign this material instance to the material slot in your Niagara system. After launching and playing the game, you'll see the new pizza mask appear. Now let's take a look at how to change the color. You can go into the Niagara system and change it there. If you adjust the scale RGB values, the colors will change altogether. You can also change the wing color like this. And you can change the spark color as well. You can also adjust the spawn count like this. This is what the shader complexity view looks like. Since it only uses one or two emitters, it's very lightweight. As you can see, it's mostly green, which means it's light. So that's how I made all these effects, masks, wings, and more, tested them, and gathered them all together. I hope this was helpful. Thanks so much for watching.